fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver. The Lone Ranger. Look in the horses. Let's go. Looks like we made it, kid. Any posse that tries to follow us will have a hard time finding our trail. It sure was smart riding down the riverbed to cover our tracks. <laughs> yeah. Gaff. Yeah, kid. Gaff, will you teach me to handle a gun the way you do? You notice how I got both of those guards on the first try? <laughs> a gun's a man's best friend. I'll teach you how to use a gun and make each shot count. You're a real pal, Gaff. What are you reading? Read it for yourself. The dynamite is hidden at the base of Step Rock, and the railroad payroll will be in the Gainesville Bank on the night of the 13th. It's not signed. What does it mean? It means that tomorrow night we blow the vault of the Gainesville Bank. With the dynamite, we pick up Step Rock and pick up the railroad payroll. I still don't get it. You know the key to ourselves and our guns that were smuggled into us? We didn't get them for nothing. We gotta pay for them by getting that payroll. An outlaw don't get nothing for nothing. Ah, oh, come on, kid. Let's try on our new clothes, see if they fit. Right. Something wrong, Tonto? Ah, me here in town, Gaff Morgan escaped from prison last night. Him killed two guards. Posse loose trail in Riverbend. Was Morgan alone? No, a man named Jack Hall with him. Jack Hall? I don't believe I've ever heard that name before. People say him not really outlaw, him only kid. Misguided hero worship. I've seen it happen many times, Tonto. Now, what we do, Kimisabi? We'll try to find him. Perhaps we can save Hall from becoming another Gaff Morgan. I mean, no spot where a posse lose trail. Good. We'll make that our starting point. Let's go. Kimosabe, me find tracks leaving river. Two horses leave river here. And the trail leads off into the hills. Tommy, you have sharp eyes. You think tracks made by Morgan and another man? There's one way we can find out. Let's go. That's Step Rock, kid. Now to find out whether the dynamite is hid where the note said it would be. Fire up the horses, kid. Right, Gaff. Here it is, kid. something to eat while we're waiting for it to get dark. Beans? Beef? Say, that's all right. We're paying for it, and we're paying plenty. You gotta learn something, kid. When you're an outlaw, nobody gives you anything for nothing. Who helped us escape? All you gotta know is that there's someone who'll turn the money over to, and then he'll hide us out until things quiet down. Now I could use some grub. How about getting the fire started? Right, yeah. Well, it's about time we got started writing. Gaff, what happens if we're separated? Where'll I meet you? You know I want to be with you when you form your new gang. Sure, kid. If anything happens, I'll meet you at the trading post at Chimney Wells. Right. Shoot anyone who tries to stop us. Right, Gaff. Men stop here, Kimisami. Yes, and they build a campfire. 
Now, the embers are still warm. They couldn't have left here very long ago. Kimisabi. Look what's me find. A blasting cap. The kind used to detonate dynamite. I wonder what men want with caps. Well, knowing Morgan's reputation, he'd only be interested in them for some illegal purpose. Uh, what we do, Kimisabi? Well, Tana will continue on Morgan's trail. We may be able to overtake him before he accomplishes whatever he has in mind. Let's get mounted. Your shoulders. It's all right. I can still ride. All right. Just as you say. Come on, kid. Hurry up. We got to keep moving. I got to rest, Jeff. I can't keep going. Does it hurt bad, kid? Yeah. yeah awful bad. I got to rest for a while. We got to keep moving. Get back on the horse. It's no use, Jeff. I can't make it. All right. I'm sorry, kid, but there's no sense in both of us getting caught. Jeff, you can't leave me. We're friends. A man's only got one friend, his gun. So long. You're not leaving me, Gap. Why, are you... Gap! Yeah, please. Please don't leave me here to die. Please. Sound like shot come from over next bridge. Come on, Tonto. Easy. I'll take it easy. Me get bandages from Saddlebag. You're masked. Well, that doesn't mean I can't help you. I thought I had a friend who was going to help me. He left me here to die. Who was this friend? Gaff Morgan. Then you must be the young fellow. Jack Hall. I thought Gaff was my friend. I admired him. Everything he stood for. I wanted to be just like him. Now I realize how wrong I was. Wrong about so many things. A person who's willing to admit he's wrong isn't all bad. Thanks, mister. I understand. Now, can you tell me where Gaff Morgan is? We were supposed to meet at the trading post at Chimney Wells. We won't need the bandages, Tano. Him dead? Yes. He's the boy who escaped from the prison with Gaff Morgan. Him not look like bandit. No, Tano, he doesn't. I don't believe he really was bad. Just misguided. Kimisabi. Someone else must have heard the shot. We won't go for our gun, Sheriff. That's strange talk to come from a masked man. Watch him. Now, just don't start anything. I'm a good shot, even left-handed. We could have ambushed you when we heard you coming. Who are you, anyway? You sure don't act like any outlaw I ever met up with. Perhaps this will introduce me. I'm only going to take a bullet from my gun holster. Have you ever seen one of these before, Sheriff? Why, it's Silver. That's right. And Silver is also the name of my horse. What's your name, Indian? Me, Tonto, him. Oh, I know who he is. It's all right, Sawyer, put your gun away. But I sure never thought I'd have the pleasure of meeting up with a lone ranger in person. Well, it looks like you're caught up with one of the robbers that blew the bank vault open. Dead. Just a kid, too. You find any money on him? No, Sheriff. His name is Jack Hall. He said Gaff Morgan left him here to die. Uh, I've heard of Morgan. Did he tell you anything else? He said we might find Gaff Morgan at the trading post at Chimney Wells. That's all I have to know. Sawyer, you take Hall's body back to town. I'm going to Chimney Wells. But, Sheriff. Yeah? Well, you ought to have a doctor look into that shoulder wound of yours. Oh, it'll be all right. Well, maybe, but if we get into a gunfight, you won't be much help. So why don't you let me go to Chimney Wells, and you go back to town and have that shoulder wound taken care of? He's right, Sheriff. 
Morgan's a dangerous man with a gun. Well, I guess maybe you're right. I wouldn't be much good with a clipped wing. But what about Hall? I can't handle that body alone. Tano, I'd like you to take Hall's body back to town. You can meet me at Chimney Wells in the morning. Sheriff, if it's all right with you, I'd like to ride with your deputy. Fine. Now there's a break for you, Sawyer, to have the Lone Ranger offer to help you. Oh, yes, yes, it certainly is. I'll be at Chimney Wells with the posse tomorrow. Adios. My name's Bennett. It's all right, Morgan. We're alone. There were supposed to be two of you. We ran into a little trouble. Have you got the money? It's in the saddlebags. Good. When you've unsaddled it, put the horse into the corral. And don't forget those saddlebags. Here's the money. You want some coffee? Might as well. I'm paying plenty for it. You're paying for services rendered, such as your freedom. Is there a place for me to get some shut eye? Yeah. That's the secret room. You'll be safe in there. Listen. Could anyone have followed you here? No, I backtracked a half a dozen times. Stay in there and keep quiet. This is the Chimney Rock trading post. It's run by a man named Bennett. The trail from Morgan's horse leads right into that corral. Well, let's go in and talk to Mr. Bennett. I've known him for quite some time. If he can help us, I'm sure he will. Hello, Mr. Bennett. Yeah. Good morning, Deputy Sawyer. Oh, it's all right. The mask man here is the Lone Ranger. Howdy. Oh, the Lone Ranger. I must say, that mask gave me a start. <laughs> Mr. Bennett, we're on the trail of a bank robber. And we wondered if maybe you'd seen him. Bank robber? Well, no, I don't think so. Mr. Bennett, those two horses out in your corral, do they belong to you? Yes. Why? The trail of the horse we've been following led right into your corral. Why, <laughs> that's impossible. Wait a minute. About four hours ago, I traded one of my horses for one of those in the corral. That could have been Morgan. What did this man look like? Well, he was a big fella, I'd say about 45, and dark complected. Well, uh, that's a description of Morgan, all right. Yeah, <laughs> and to think I poured him a cup of coffee when I should have been holding a gun on him. Mr. Bennett, how long ago did this man leave here? Oh, about four hours ago. We better get started. He took the road going north, if that's any help to you. Yes, it is, Mr. Bennett, and thank you very much. I hope you get your man. We can try, Mr. Bennett. Good day, sir. Adios. Something wrong, mister? Maybe. I want to talk to Bennett again. Mr. Bennett, I have a few questions I'd like to ask you. Yes, of course. How long ago did you say Gaff Morgan left here? More than four hours ago. Has anyone been here since? No. Yet the coffee here is still warm. Seems a little strange, doesn't it? Now look here. You also told us you traded Morgan a horse. There's a saddle outside on the porch that's stamped from fast riding. What about it? It's logical that Morgan would want a fresh horse. Why wouldn't he keep his own saddle? Why would he want another one? Well, I... I... What was the color of the horse? Black? Brown? White? It was black or brown. Or, I don't remember. Morgan never left here, did he? Well, where is he? Oh, I... I guess we'll I... have to tell him, Bennett. He won't be satisfied until he knows the truth. Don't make a false move. Get your hands up high. Take his guns. Well, you're in this too, Sawyer. I'm more than in it. This is my setup. There's nothing worse than a lawman gone bad. I know, but it's very profitable. Crooks, when they want to escape, they pay me. When the law is after them, I hide them. They pay me for that also. It's a very profitable situation all the way around. I mean, what are we going to do now with him knowing everything? We'd better head for the border. There's no need for that. We can continue business as usual after he's been eliminated. Where's Gaff? In the hidden room. Get him! Hey, Morgan, wake up. Come on, wake up.
what you want. Sawyer's got a job for you. No, no, don't shoot. You might hit Sawyer. Take care of him for a while. Yeah. Can't the masked man get away? No, there's no windows in that storeroom and only that door. We're safe here. The bullets can't get through that wall. It's too thick. Give him a taste of his own medicine. He's got ammunition and food in there to hold us off for days. I know, but we can't wait around that long. His engine friend will be here pretty soon to say nothing of the sheriff and his posse. With the masked man blasting at that door, how long do you think you can keep him cooped up in there? Long enough for us to get rid of him and still stay in the clear. Bennett, get some blasting powder and a length of fuse. Right. Post? Yes. We gotta get rid of that masked man before the sheriff and his posse arrive. Once we're rid of him, we'll be back in business. I'll clean out the safe. Bennett, you go saddle up the horses. Right. You want me to light it? No. That's gonna be my pleasure. now. I don't understand. It should have gone off by now. Yeah, it should. Something must be wrong. We better get back there. What for? What for? If the masked man isn't dead when the sheriff arrives, he'll have every lawman in the country out looking for us. Let's get back there. Get, get up here. Get, get up here. I'm glad you're here, Toto. Sheriff and posse coming. Me right ahead of them. Uh, men get away, Kimisabi? Yes. Sawyer's the leader. A man named Bennett is his henchman. Morgan is with him. Wait a minute. They're coming back. What do we do now? Behind the door. Quick! Get inside and see what went wrong. I'll stay outside and keep an eye out for the sheriff. Hurry it up! Drop your guns. The sheriff and his posse is coming. We gotta get out of here. Keep them covered, Tom. I'm going after Sawyer.
I don't know how to thank you and your Indian friend for bringing the bank's money back. And believe me, I'll see that Sawyer gets all this coming to him. Anyone who would use a position of trust for his own personal gain is worse than a common criminal. I think any honest lawman would feel the same way, mister. Well, Sheriff, Tano and I must be riding on. Well, good luck and thanks again. Adios. You know, Sawyer, you weren't really so smart. Yeah? What makes you say that? Well, you should have realized you were finished when your trail crossed that of the Lone Ranger. <laughs>